Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. We are where it all started. Uh, yeah, all 70 some of my subscribers. We, uh, we're back where we made our first video uh, last year. We're down in Florida and it's morning. Uh, sunrise just came up, but kind of hidden in some clouds and high tides in a couple hours. So we are, we're going to give this a shot. I don't think I've fished a calmer ocean. I haven't fished many surf spots. But this is almost like a lake out here today. Hopefully the fish like it. It's certainly beautiful out. All right, so I finally found a spot to set up. I'm actually parked way down there, like ridiculously far down there. But the beach is one constant wave. Uh, so I, you know, there's no structure under there, no no changes to the sand. So I ended up coming down here because the waves crash differently here. And that's just my logic, I figure. I think there's like a deep spot out here, so we're gonna give that a shot. Got my lines out, but I accidentally forgot a weight for one of them. So <laughs> I could barely cast with the split shot a little ways past where the waves are breaking here. So we'll see how this goes, but kind of cool because we've got a whole bunch of uh, nesting sea turtle sites up here. I don't know if you can see, but right there is one. Uh, there's a whole bunch down there and those ladies are actually checking on them. Um, last year I hooked one by accident. I got rid of it as fast as I could. So, anyway. We're going to see if there's something on here. Can't tell with the waves. Uh, I don't think so. Wait, uh, might be the sand. Uh, no, there's something on here, I think. It's just fighting really weirdly. What do we got? What do we have? Oh, interesting. Catfish in the surf? I'm not used to catfish in the surf. Check that out. Well, I guess there's fish out here. That's cool. I just got done setting my rods back up. And this thing's bouncing like there's something on. Did I miss it? Oh, I might have missed it. Wait, nope. Oh, oh, I got something. What is it? Don't be another catfish, please. Oh, well, what do you know? That's a nice pompano. That's what we caught last year. Let me see what the legal size is again on these, because that's pretty cool. Nope, 10 inches. He gets to go free. Live another day. All right, come on, little guy. Uh, there we go. That's cool. So the water must drop off pretty well if those guys are putzing around right there. Wish I was out on that boat. <laughs> so I've made a decision. I keep, so the rod I had set up over here, I did not have weights on. And it was not going out very far. And it was just drifting down with the surf. But every time I walk away from this rod, it starts going off. See, there's something on it right now. What are ya? What are ya? Oh, a little whiting. Cool. 
a little small to keep, but cool. It's just fun being in the fish. We'll throw him back out. Already hooked into one. Huh. This is fun. Just gotta find where the fish are. <laughs> what do we got? Okay, what do we got? Oh, it was there right until the end. I could feel it. They clean me off every time. Fish bites, but no shrimp. Okay. All right, game on. Bite and stay. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, I think I think one's still on. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. What do we got? Oh, okay, so I think I caught a croaker earlier, and this is another ugh, croaker. I'm not thinking I'm gonna keep him. He's on the small side, but still fun to catch him. See, so you're what's been stealing everything. Oh, oh, that felt decent size. Let's see what it is. Oh yeah. Oh, it's nice when it's, oh yeah. It might be the biggest fish I've caught today. We'll see. It's at least the liveliest. Oh, oh doubles. That's cool. Doubled up. <laughs> oh, that's super cool. I didn't, I've never done that before. I've never done that before, but uh, I am new to all this, so maybe that's not super unusual, but that was fun. Oh, got one. Yep. Uh oh. Feels bigger than the, I keep saying that. It feels bigger than the last croaker. And it's another catfish, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, got into another one. Does not feel very big this time. Of course, the others didn't either, but sometimes they made me think they were a little bit bigger. This one's not fooling anyone. Oh, well, yet another croaker. This is kind of like pulling bluegills out of a pond. Just, the, you know, little fish, but they always bite. Got one on. Will it be a croaker or a catfish? It, well, maybe I don't have anything. <laughs> so it's small. Okay. What, the catfish, they're going in the wrong direction. Not that I want to keep one, but <laughs> this, they're getting smaller and smaller. 
Okay, I'm probably down to my final cast. I don't have much left in the way of bait. It's been a blast though. Oh, shoot, that was fast. I think I got one, yeah. Man, they're just sitting there waiting for it. That's a nice little croaker. He didn't even bite on my shrimp, he bit on my fish bites. All right. This is probably the last cast. That's where they are. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Come on, be something to take a picture of. Oh. What are you? <laughs> well, it's my old friend Whiting's. And that is how we're going out, folks. Just a nice little Whiting, but fun times. All right, I think I have to call it. I gotta go meet up with Rachel and Jace. I guess we have some adventure planned for the day, or so Rachel says. So, that was a lot of fun. Caught a, a, a only small fish, but uh, sort of like catching bluegills in a pond, but still fishing and you're still catching and it was fun. But maybe I need to change up my bait. Well, the one guy was telling me he uses live uh, mackerel, I believe, and catches them with a cast net and then hooks them up. So maybe if I do that, I'll catch some bigger fish some actual predators so anyway see you next time